Hello, today I'm going to show you how you can connect your go-to mount, such as this one that you see right here, into your macOS computer so you can control your mount via the computer, you can play it, solve, polar align and do all the good stuff. There is a bunch of tutorials online on how to do it on a Windows computer using SCOM drivers and Stellarium and that kind of stuff, but I couldn't really find a reliable guide, especially a video guide on how to do it on a macOS and whether it's even possible at all. So. Yes, it is possible, and today I'm going to show you how to do that. So, let's get started. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to download some software onto our computer so we can hook it all up. So the software that we are going to need is called KStars. This is a free app that you can download on your macOS computer. Uh, it also works on Windows, so if you're on Windows, you can definitely follow along as well. So you just go to this page, a link to it will be down below in the description, and you can download that. I already have it installed, so let me just open that. And as you can see, KStars itself is sort of like a planetarium app, uh, similar to Stellarium. So you can navigate around the night sky and there's a bunch of options on how to view the night sky. But there's an important module here, which is called ECOS, which could be activated by clicking on this icon. And ECOS is sort of like a way to control your whole um, astrophotography rig. You can control your camera, imaging camera, guide camera, your mount your um, even observatory dome or something if you wanted to. This is really powerful. So in this video, we are concerned about connecting our mount to it. So as you can see, I already have a profile. Let me just create a new profile from scratch so you can follow along. And the profile name, we're going to name it Test YouTube, for instance. Uh, and what we want to do, as you can see, you can select your devices. We are interested in selecting the mount. So we're going to go to a mount and I'm using a Skywatcher EQM35 Pro. So I'm going to go to Skywatcher and then select EQ mode mount. And that's basically it. So I'm just going to go to save and then you would hit this icon in order to connect. But before we do that, we need to do something else. We need to actually download uh, drivers for our computer so we can connect the mount to the computer so they can talk to each other. So the drivers that are going to need to download are prolific drivers. You can download it from the prolific uh, website right here. And these are USB to serial drivers because uh, the mount is a serial device and we need to talk uh, to a serial device through a USB port. So that's why we need those drivers. So you can download them from here. They're also free and the link to this page will be down below in the description. And then we need to actually connect the mount to the camera, uh, sorry, to the computer. But before we do that, uh, let's actually turn on the mount. I'm assuming that you have everything connected like I do here. So let's turn on the mount and we'll see what we need to do next. All right, so let's turn on the mount. Uh, so let's turn it on. And then as you can see, the hand controller is currently initializing. So we're gonna wait for that uh, to, to be done. And then the hand controller is initialized. So I'm just gonna brush through the initial setup right here. So enter, then we have a warning. Okay, longitude, latitude, time zone. This is actually not all that important if you're controlling your mount through a computer. So I'm just gonna go, okay, okay, time, whatever, daylight saving, okay, okay. Okay, and then begin alignment and you don't want to do the star alignment. This is like the one, two or three star alignment. We are going to hit no because we don't want to do the alignment. And then the mount is sort of in a standby mode and ready, almost ready to be connected to the computer. So what we are going to need in order to actually connect it is we're going to need a USB cable. This is a USB type A on one end. This will go to the computer. And then on the other end, it's a USB 
type B and this is the kind of plug that you would use for like a printer or something this is USB type B and this goes into your mount so as you can see on the control box on my EQN35 Pro there is a USB port right here if you're using a higher end mount like an EQ6 for instance it would be embedded somewhere here in this part of the mount but we are actually not going to be connecting it here because on the hand controller there is another USB Type B port on the back side of the hand controller there's a USB Type B port here and we are going to connect it to this one so I'm gonna take my cable and I'm going to take the USB Type B side of it and plug it into the hand controller like I just described so there we go and it's plugged in and then the other end is going to go to the computer I actually need to use a uh, dongle like this because I am on a MacBook with only USB-C ports so this is just a dongle from USB-A to USB-C so let me just connect that Okay, that is connected and we are almost ready to actually connect everything in K-Stars. There's just one more step, which is that on the hand controller, we actually need to go to the PC direct mode. So currently you are in the setup menu. You need to use the scroll keys down here to go to utility functions, then enter and then scroll down until you see, uh, 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 wait a minute, PC direct mode. PC direct mode then just go to enter and then it is sort of awaiting to be connected to the computer so now that we have that let's uh, let's connect it so I am back in KSTARS ECOS we have our test YouTube profile here and then let's hit the play button okay ECOS requires at least one CCD or guider to operate so let's actually add a CCD real quick so I'm just gonna go to um, DSLRs Canon DSLR okay and uh, then again hit the play button and then we are going to connect our EQ mode mount right here and if everything is hooked up correctly after you click the connect it should connect and we can see that the connection is successful which is great uh, you can just close that and then what you can do is you have this option here uh, this tab which is called the EQ mode mount the, this is the mount tab and then on this one you can uh, do all sorts of stuff to your mount you can set it to do a meridian flip you can uh, do all sorts of stuff that I'm not gonna dive into in this video maybe in a future video so let's actually start tracking okay we are going to unpark the mount uh, yeah turn on the tracking unpark the mount okay uh, and then we are going to slew to some kind of a target so for instance let's uh, let's put this to the side for a moment and let's try to slew to um, North American Nebula so you can also use a search here which is built into that I'm just gonna do it manually because I know where it is here is North America so I'm just gonna right click uh, EQ mode mount go to and the mount is automatically slowing how cool is that so let's give it a second as you can see it adjusted right ascension now it's adjusting declination and there we go and you can you can control your mount like this you can search for different targets preview your framing if you also connect your camera to the uh, to ecos k stars you can also do all sorts of cool stuff like plate solving for instance which is basically a, like you take a picture with your camera and then ecos will analyze it and figure out where exactly are you pointed in the night sky and if there is a deviation between what it thinks what the go-to thinks you are pointed at versus what you're where you're actually pointed at it will do necessary collection corrections so you can have like a spot on framing every single time you can also do very precise polar alignment using this software which works like it takes a couple of pictures and then figures out if you are pointed exactly uh, if you're exactly polar aligned or not so this is something that i will probably be showing in some of my future videos but for now that's how you can connect that's how you can control your mount using ecos which i think opens up a whole new world of possibilities of using your go-to mount and in and, 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 and a lot of new new ways so hopefully this video was helpful to you if it was give it a like give me a like on this on this video i would really appreciate that and also consider subscribing to my channel because like i said i will be making further videos about different aspects of how to use go to mount with software what you can do with that 
Um, yeah, I already have a bunch of videos on my channel, so check them out if you if you like them or not. And hopefully see you in one of my future videos. Clear skies and bye bye.